Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Today we have another JDM Tuners made by Jada and Diecast Metals, and it is the 1990 Mazda Miata. This is the 124th version. They made this in three different colors, the blue, black, and red. They also have a 132nd version of this vehicle as well. Those came out in four different colors, the same blue, black, red, and then the 132nds, they always make a fourth color, and that one is white. But this one is the 124th. I did not pick up any 132nds of this model. And here are some other ones they make on the back. And I'm sure you've seen some of the other videos when I unbox them. But here we go. Today we got the Mazda Miata 1990. So let's go ahead, get this thing open, and take a closer look at it. Alrighty guys, and we are back. Here is the model. Alright, let's start it off with the item number. Showing 30942. 30942 should match the bottom. 30942. Here it is, scale 124th, 1990 Mazda Miata. And again, this one is made by Jada Toys, metals die cast. And of course, the 124th, you'll get opening hood, door, and trunk. And I like this blue. It's almost like a chrome blue. It seems like all these new releases they're coming out with, they're all doing the same blue, um, a red, that's kind of chrome and a black because I know they did it in both the um, Honda Civics, the RX-7s, these Miatas, and I think the RX-7s as well. Or did I already say that? I don't know, but I am liking the color. All right, start it off with the front. All right, this bottom piece here is this bottom piece is die cast. It is molded with the base. The bumper is die cast. This insert here is plastic. And then the headlights are a clear plastic with a little bit of silver behind it. And then I do believe that is the old Mazda logo. All right, going to the side, we have a one, two, three, four, five, six spoke wheel. And then you can see the calipers and the rotors back there. They are painted red. Rubber tires. All right, no side graphic, but we do have some information. Looks like endless, and then was that Volk? Racing wheels, it says. V O L K. Then the door handle is silver. The side mirrors are that rubber with the reflective for the mirror. Alright, looking on the inside. 
All right, doesn't look like anything is colored detail, but it does have the stickers on the back for the gauges and no chrome accent. The only chrome accent I can see is if you look in, fix that light a little bit. If you look in the back window, there we go. It's got a chrome roll bar. Oh, and it does have a little bit of plastic here to make it look like glass. All right, there's the rest of the side. Got a little paint there for the side markers. All right, going to the rear. We have the JDM Tuners license plate. Clear red for the taillights. A chrome exhaust. And it looks like it's just the muffler. Um, I don't see any logos back here, any Mazda or anything like that. Um, the spoiler here is plastic, as well as the one on the back windshield or back window, whatever you want to consider it. And inside we got nothing. Oh, and look how much different that paint job is. I don't know if you guys can see it. It almost looks so much, it looks dull, like it doesn't have the same um, depth to it. Oh, that kind of makes it look, I mean, if you got it on display and you got the trunk open, it kind of looks like you didn't even paint the door jams or anything. But, all right, going to the other side will be the same, same logos, same wheels. And here is the passenger side. It's not that bad on the jams. So they must put some kind of, I don't know, some kind of chrome or something in it. Because you can see it, like there, you see it's different. Huh. But there is the passenger side. There's the chrome roll bar back there. Oh, and then it does have the endless logo up on the front window all right let's take a look under the hood what do we got today nice so they just kind of do a all chrome motor everything else around it is black plastic so not too bad pretty nice model so here it is with the 124th scale. Like I said, they do make 132nd. I didn't pick them up. Um, I'm only going to pick up 132nds of the um, castings I absolutely like. And then if they have a different colored one or something like that. But picking up both colors on every single version is getting a little bit much. So here we go. Here is the Miata. All right, crew, um, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Spent Too Much Diecast crew. Everybody that has joined already, thanks for watching. Um, watching the videos, giving me feedback really means a lot. And then also hit that bell notification if you haven't. That way you guys will get notified when I put videos up. Um, I'm trying to do two a week. Now that summer's coming, we'll see how much more time I have. But again, thanks everybody for watching. Make sure you join the crew. And we will see you on the next unboxing. See you later. Thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great day.